What's up guys? Today I'm driving this. gonna hit close and then you just latch these bad boys here and there soft top is done 2012 Mitsubishi Eclipse spider it's the spider edition because it is a convertible it's got a 2.4 Maybach motor front wheel drive original window sticker I don't know what that means but you can see the Carfax here three previous owners three service records uh, rental personal California 88,000 miles and that is what it has right now 88,168 The first owner was a rental only owned it for seven months second owner eight months and in 2013 someone bought it for eight years So yeah, it's not a bad report We usually don't buy a lot of cars that have more than like two owners. That's what we want to stay at two owners but sometimes two-door especially convertibles you know, people, lifestyles change. This is only a, really a two-seater because the rear has this crazy speaker system. You can fit more people, but it's just kind of like a two-person kind of car. I got the AC going. This thing has an incredible, incredible sound system. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's doing good. If you guys own a Mitsubishi, let me know your favorite thing about the car. Cause man, the steering wheel is just awesome. Leather wrapped steering wheel, three spoke. The Mitsubishi right here. Let me just test out my horn. I love the way this car starts. Just the initial like crank of it. Oh man, just beautiful, unique, unique sound. Also the seats, man. These seats are super sporty seats. They're like suede. I've also had these cars in leather. Every time we see one of these Mitsubishis, we always try to buy it. And then convertible, my dad likes the convertible ones. Today we're gonna find out how reliable she is. We just saw the Carfax. Bumpy road right here. This road right here really sucks. Let's see. This thing has 18 inch wheels on it, low pros, but it's not too, too bad. Pretty small sun visor. She stops great. The suspension is really tight. You know, it was kind of bumpy over there like I was telling you with the low pro tires, but it's really, really tight, especially in the turning. The transmission shifts fine. I don't even feel the transmission. And the motor sounds good. It's got a lot of power. Listen to the motor for a bit. If you want to see more or hear more of the motor, I made a video with the top down. The blind spots on this thing are not great. You know, I kind of do have a blind spot over there, but it's not too bad. I can work with it. And of course with the top down, psh, you got no blind spots. You hear what I'm saying? This has got to be the lowest mileage Mitsubishi Eclipse I've ever had. And that's probably why it's in this really good condition. I can feel how tight everything just is. Rockford Fosgate, just an excellent system. I actually have these speakers on my 74 Chevy C10 that I have. I do have some buttons back here on the steering wheel. They're for the radio, to control the radio. So up and down, volume, change the channel. 
and then I got my cruise control down here and we'll test that out make sure it works but how reliable is a Mitsubishi Eclipse it's gonna vary but this is kind of one of those cars that the minute you literally hop into it you can already feel how good this car is like it just kind of takes off in it's pretty good the alignment's really good there's no shakiness in the wheel I don't know what kind of feeling this car gives me I feel like I'm driving a, a Civic just because the seats hug me so much these these like sport bucket seats that's what kind of I can compare them with just because of the way it hugs my back the newer kind of Civic seats do that but it also, the car really feels small. I feel like I'm in like a, like a Mazda Miata or something. And it's probably just because it's convertible. A lot of road noise coming in, but again, because it's convertible. I'm really loving and enjoying this car. So that was just like a little baby. Little baby acceleration. Kind of went easy on it. The inside is so nice. Everything has a feel to it. You know, even this right here has a different feel. This is still working. The glove box is pretty big. Got a charger in there. These are big and nice, easy to operate. You know, it's got a totally different radio than anything else. It has a good it's flow. Whoa. It's got a great system and a really nice flow. I mean, the whole thing, you know? Got some chrome over here at the top. Got my D for my shifter. Got the light that I need some gas. And it's idling really nice. guys are having fun if you guys are enjoying the video make sure to give me a like comment down below if you have one of these cars if you've ever owned one of these cars if you had issues with it or if your car was just awesome and didn't give you no problems and you just loved it let me know if you customized it too because I've seen some of these pimped out and man they look great it's top quality at its finest the seats are amazing the steering wheel is amazing you know, it's, it's plain too. It doesn't have a whole lot of going on. It doesn't need all that. I've been trying to answer the question of how reliable something is. And with the vehicle, there's just so many parts, so many components. If there is something specific that you want me to look at, I don't know. I don't know what I could do. Maybe you guys could help me out with that. Any kind of questions you guys have, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright guys, that's our test drive. Thanks for coming along with me. Like, comment, subscribe. 